So what is headless CMS? Let's take as an example the most popular CMS, WordPress. You have your admin dashboard where you manage your content, so that's the CMS part, and then you have the website itself, which is the front end. With the traditional CMS, your content is tied to the WordPress design, which can be a real pain in the butt when you're trying to publish a content across multiple platforms like a website, a mobile app, and a smartwatch app. With headless CMS, you don't have to deal with the hassle of managing different versions of, your, of the same content for different platforms. Instead, you can create your content once and publish it everywhere. Also, traditionally, if you want to update code on front end, you are stuck with using coding language of the WordPress, which is PHP in this case. In a headless WordPress CMS, the WordPress backend, so your admin dashboard is used to create and manage the content and then exposed through an API and that's just a fancy term for a way for different applications to talk each other. But the API part is super important. This means if you have the credentials to access the API, you can now grab the content and show it anywhere and any way you want. That's why the front end applications can be built using any technology or framework and the content is pulled from uh, the API and can be used separately from WordPress. This allows for greater flexibility in design development and developers love it because they can choose what technologies to use to build their apps. In summary, these are the advantages of headless CMS. It's more flexible because you can connect it to any app and each of the apps can use different coding languages. And the way you connect CMS to apps is via API, which is a way for different programs to talk to each other using a common language and format. The disadvantages of headless CMS are lack of pre-made templates, so the developers will have to code uh, most things themselves. It's technically more complex because you'll need a team to connect the headless CMS to apps, and this drives the costs up, so it's more expensive. Now that you know what headless CMS means, but without making your website look professional, you're losing a lot of sales. That's why you should watch this video next if you want to learn how to make your website look 10 times more professional.